Local Democrat Dr. Raul Ruiz faces Congresswoman Mary Bono Mack for the 36th congressional seat in November. Dr. Ruiz recently sat down with KMIR 6's Gino Lamont to discuss his campaign. The Republican convention is behind us and the Democratic convention is about to get underway. The election now roughly two months away in the rhetoric, the campaigns, and at times the candidates are heating up. Last week we spoke with Representative Mary Bono Mack. Today, her Democratic opponent, Dr. Raul Ruiz. We began with the topic of the 112th Congress, which will go down in history as the most unproductive Congress ever. We asked Dr. Ruiz about working across the aisle. Any concern that you'll be able to represent your district while still being able to work across the aisle? You see, I don't think that that's the current problem. I th the current problem is that people, including our Congresswoman Mary Bonomack, is not representing the people of their district. They're more representing uh, their party ideologues, and they're more willing to fight people regarding their ideology than they are in finding solutions. Now, what we need is we need an engaged congressperson who's going to be working with local residents to figure out what are the solutions to our local problems and what's the role that the congressperson will take to promote that. A congressperson who's engaged with the community, a congressperson person who's here because if you're out of sight you're out of touch and the fact that we have 50 percent of our population that are 55 years old and older and that rely or are expecting to rely on their Medicare during their retirement and we have a congresswoman who has voted for the Ryan plan which would privatize Medicare turn it into a voucher system essentially hand you a piece of paper and say good luck now you're on your own and add $6,000 to medical care costs out of pocket to our seniors, that's unacceptable. That's being out of sure. touch with the needs of the, of the people in her district. Part of the Republican plan is to leave Medicare as it is for Americans 55 and older, and then changing the system to what the Democrats call a voucher plan for those 55 and younger. So how do you convince somebody who's 55 or older to care about somebody who's 54 today? and what their Medicare is going to be when they finally retire. You know, that's what makes this country great. What makes this country great is looking out for the next generation, is looking out for our children. Medicare, if you turn it into a voucher system, is going to change the way we, we know it today. And it's going to increase the cost for the seniors in your future by $6,000 on average. Again, hand you a sheet of paper saying this is, you're limited to this amount of money and the rest is on your own. Good luck. And we're not a country that does that to our, to our seniors. Our seniors have bought into our system. They are at their elderly age, their most vulnerable age in terms of their health care. And we have a responsibility to keep our promise to them. And I intend to do so. If the president does win, his coattails are likely not going to be very long. How concerned are you that attaching yourself to the president really in any way is going to hinder your chance for election? Well, I'm running my own race here in the district. I'm not running for the president. I'm not running for the Democratic Party. I'm running for the residents of this district. And that's the most important thing to realize because because of my approach to problem solving, because of my experience with public policy and finding solutions to the problems that we face in this district, people are realizing that we have a preferential option to represent them to a fight and stand strong for the middle class, for the working Americans, and for the seniors of this district. And that's going to make all the difference.